walking in the spirit by praying in the spirit. You walk in the spirit now by praying in the spirit daily. Nga naman, every day you walk in your body. Hello. And if you want to be victorious, you have to walk in the spirit daily. Dili lang once a week. <laughs> daily. Ing na daily. Sabi ni saya na kada adlaw. Ing na kada adlaw. Kada adlaw. Maglakaw ko sa spirito. Ah, pa ka ng ino. Okay. Romans 8:26 to 27. Basahan. ESB. By the way, uh, ganina, nakita ninyo nga uh, si Sister Mary Jane ay nag-operate din sa squad presentation. Nag-ampok me na uh, kay si Sir Hilder mo ko na sa guitar. Okay? Kampok ko nga na i-raise tandogon sa ginoo na faithful mo operate sa power poet. Hello? Especially during Kanang worship ba? Okay? Kanang mo commit? May yung commit gali? Dili. Atras aban, uh, atras abanti. Kanang makitaan ni mo kung gusto lang. Kung dili po, di niyo makitaan. Kanang naikubit man? Onya, kiksabol sa. Kanang maminaw kung, kung sa isulti sa iya. Ha? Are you following me? Uh, we, we are praying for that. Because this church is growing. Hello. So, kinahanglan. <laughs> Magkumita sa Lord. <laughs> That's one of the ways na you become producer. Is to participate in the work. Kung aginag may lang. Are you following me? Okay. Harita sa Romans 8.26. It is me. Ay, wag naman. Easy. Okay. Sometimes kani technology may mutang kapit. <laughs> Di takalihok kung wala yung technology. Okay. Hallelujah. Okay. Romans 8.26 Basa. Likewise, the Spirit helps us in our weakness. For we do not know what to pray for us we know, but the Spirit Himself intercedes for us with groanings too deep for words. Okay? Okay, and then we go back to that. Okay. 27, it says there, huh? and he who searches Heart knows what is the mind of the spirit because the spirit intercedes for the saints according to the will of God. Let's go back to 26. So if you notice that in your dia, the spirit help us in our weakness. Kinsa may walay weakness ninyo? All of us naatay weakness. Kinsa man lang weakness sa binisaya. Kasabot mo mga bata. Kaluyahon. Kanang atong kuan pa part sa atong life nga vulnerable kayo ta. Okay? So, the spirit helps us in our weakness. Kanang spirit there. Kinsa man na? The Holy Spirit Ang asa man ng Holy Spirit karon Naa inside of you. Kung, listen carefully, you are already a child of the living God. 
the Holy Spirit is inside of you. Hello? Kung wala pa ka na himong anak sa ginoo, wala pa ka ma-born again, the Holy Spirit is outside of you. You have to seek that. But kung naana si Lord sa iyo, ha? Your body becomes the temple of God. Tanawa ko doon. Kung imong hinuklogan, the God of the universe <laughs> is now living inside of you. At ang pagbaka ng ino. <laughs> Ang unsa ang role sa Holy Spirit. The role of the Holy Spirit is to be our helper. One of His role. One of His function. To help us. Na kay difficulties in mong life. In all kinds of difficulties, you can ask the Holy Spirit to help you. Atong pagpaka ng ino. In our weakness, mo help siya. Because kay ba kay soon, many times we do not know what to pray. Na uun sa gyud atong i-pray. Even ka nang sa atong prayer meeting, I thought that kay balok sa may pray na koy. No gibalik-balik na man nga prayer. Are you following me? So last yesterday, ina ko sa Lord, pang lista na daan. Unya <laughs> i ihatag na sa ilaha para maka-pray sila. Kaya kaya yung usay prayer meeting na ito is so na ito din si Tama himotang traditionalist. Yan ang tradisyon ba nga? The same prayer since pagsugod hangtod karon maura kaya pag ibalik-balik. Hello? So, ina ko sa Lord, mauna yung buhata. Ito mo participate, i-share nila sila ipalida pag-pray ahni. I would like to invite you to be part of the prayer group. Hello. Hallelujah. <laughs> we do not know sometimes what to pray. As we ought to pray. But the Spirit Himself, listen carefully, ah, intercedes for us. What's our name? Intercede. The Holy Spirit, God Himself, is praying for us. Yes. Oh, listen carefully, ha? Because God is omnipresent. He is everywhere. He is outside of us. He is also in heaven at the same time. But at the same time, He is also in us. Now, listen carefully. Now, when you walk in the Spirit and speak in tongues, because when you're walking in the Spirit, this is what we call speaking in tongues. Or kita wang may praying in the Spirit. In the book of Ephesians chapter 6, that we have to pray in the Spirit in all occasions, with all kinds of prayers and supplication. Hello? Now listen carefully. God Himself is in here already na to. When you speak in, when you pray in the Spirit or pray in tongue, uh, magawa sa inyong baba, laing man nga pinulungan. Ang inyong speak, the gift, nagihatag ni Lord, the gift of tongue. Ang epekto na ison, it is God praying through you. Yeah. And that's why you cannot understand kung sa'yo mo gawa sa imong baba. Because kanang gipray ni mo <laughs> nga tang gikan sa imong spirit the Holy Spirit okay it's a heavenly language. Anong? And it brings with it mystery. Hello. Naay mga butanga 
Dapat imo mo pray dili ka ka pray. The Holy Spirit through your praying in the spirit or speaking tongue gamito na sa Ginoo. So that that kind of prayer be fulfilled and answered. And listen carefully because one of the primary ways na ang will of God be done here on earth as it is in heaven be done in your life as it is in heaven <laughs> is to pray. And there are two kinds of prayer. Praying with your mind and praying with your spirit. And this prayer with your spirit in the when you pray that <laughs> God's will is done here in your life or here on earth as God decides. Gamito na sa ginoo. Kana imong prayer in tongue to which ever gusto niya nga buhaton. And that's why Simple encourages us to always pray in tongue. Are you following? Because pray in tongue will also edify ourselves. Will also build us. <laughs> so don't build us. grow The word can make us grow, but we have also to pray in the tongue that the Lord has given us. It should become part of our Christian lifestyle. Atong pagpaka ng ino. <laughs> but the Spirit Himself intercedes for us with groanings too deep for words. Kaya nabito nga kay mga lips. Pero na kayo gusto may tamo na. Pero you cannot utter the word. Buong sa'yo mo hilang. Hallelujah. You pray in tongue. Hello. You pray in tongue. Okay. The most powerful way to begin walking in the spirit is to start praying in the spirit. Of course, kung walang pagkakadawat ana, you have to seek na mo manifest na sa imo ha. Listen carefully. That the tongue is a gift. Okay, as you are. Feel by the Holy Spirit. What do you feel? Napuno ka. Your mouth speaks. Tagahan ka sa ginawa. Ika ng tang iso. This is an initiation of all other gifts. Other gifts ma-activated, ana. Mubilt up man yung gift of tang sa imuhang. Hello, katong gift of discernment, <laughs> the gift of miracle, all other kinds, the word of knowledge, okay, the word of wisdom. It is activated when you speak in other tongues as the Holy Spirit give it to you. Pero since it is a gift yung gihatag ni Lord Dimo, you have to use it because if you use what the Lord has given you, you will have more of Him. You want to grow spiritually? Walk in the Spirit. Pray in the Spirit. Ako'y testimony soon. O sanin siya ka, Juan, since katumbang ko lang ko na born again, di nag-ministry na ko dito sa Kuwako. Ministry B. Lagi ma-feel na ko something na maglain ako gidiri. Muro kong na yung something na hindi ko mahimutang. Muro. Kaya na, 
Taga, murag ang side di ba? Some kind here. Ba feel na ko ganaman mo. Mukuan man akong tiyan. Wihilag ba? Kaya, wag ko kasabot. Okay. Inig, diligali ko mag-pray. Na yung mahitabo nga di mayo. Lately lang, nibalik na. Kato nagsigi na kong preach ang Holy Spirit. Nibalik na. So, nangutahan ako. Lord nga naman eh. Ingat ko sa Holy Spirit. Yun siya. Yeah, it's me. <laughs> I have given you a gift to know what is in advance. Uh, there's so many kinds of gifts yung hatang niya na ito ilain-lain. Pero sa ko ah, mahilab ni. Okay? Now, what I am to do, Lord, siya, you pray. You pray in mind and you pray in tongue. Because when you pray in tongue, <laughs> katong imong wala masulti sa imong mind through your kanang vernacular language na to, God will fulfill it through our speaking or praying in tongue. Wow! Praise the Lord! At ang pagpaka ng ino! Meaning, ang mamis na itong nga prayer, God is the one who prayed it! At ang pagpaka ng ino! <laughs> so, what is it? What is it? What is it? Sa unang, nakahinom na ko ni Ampog ko si Ino. Kaya nabi nag, you know, running a school, dahil kayong mga problema. Tingala ko nga, almost every day, na agay mo hilaw, ano ba? So, nag-pray ko si, Lord, tagtangin, na nung di mo ko, na wabi ato. Pagkaroon, gikaw, ano ko, sige, no. Isa, don't be afraid of that. Because, katong mga attack sa enemy, ma-prevented sila, if you pray in God. Atong pagpaka ng ino. Pag umahaton, pag nanagay mo hilam na galing, eh, mag-pray ko with in mind, akong sultihan, mm -hmm. mungin ko sa ginoo, yeah, the rest, mag-pray in tato. Are you following me? Now, pray in the spirit is the gateway to living life. Above what you have ever known. Why? You are already above. Because the Spirit is above all things. Hello. If you are praying in the Spirit, <laughs> it accomplishes so much at so much all at once. Mura <laughs> Imong pagpray ani tanahan maapil na. Because God is omnipotent. Amen. Imagine ni Son ang nagpray ni mo sa so, kanang magpray ka in the spirit. It is God himself speaking through you. Pagpakan ato ang Ginoo. Kaya mga isoon, there are three kinds of languages. There is the language of men, mo niya ito, in mind na ito. There is the language of angels. Okay? There is what we call the unknown languages. Now, kaning unknown languages o language of angels, maka-inter, kwan sila? Pare-parehas sila. Pero lahat na gito sa language. Kanyang unknown languages. Hello. Are you following me? Okay. Now, so, pray in the spirit or speak. Pray in tongue. <laughs> say, mag, 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 say, benefit anak sa imuha. It charges and strengthens your spirit. Now, listen ka naman ha. The Holy Spirit is inside of you. Living inside of you. Join with your spirit. So, wak pang ginoo. Na naman kay spirito. Okay? Katong spirito, nga wak pang ginoo. Mga ito yung nawaakman. But you become born of God or born again, katong spirito na join to with the spirit of God. You become 
a new person. When you pray in the spirit, it strengthen your spirit. Nga na mix nga to sa Holy Spirit. I mean, this is the new person. Nga mo'y ma-build up. Ato pagpaka ng gino. Basa. 1 Corinthians chapter 14 verse 4. Okay. Verse 4. I'd like you to take notes. Very important this ya kayo. Okay. My Lord, I pray in the name of Jesus that Lord God, the, your Holy Spirit will illumine them. Give them revelation. Including the children, the youth, and the adults. So that in the name of Jesus, so that they will walk in victory. Amen. Hallelujah. Listen carefully. The one who speaks in tongues builds up himself. But the one who prophesies builds up the church. I'll focus more on the one who speaks in tongues. That's why in tongues is to build us up. Kaning mag magdasi ko ninyo, kaning mag magwali ko sa inyo hakaron, it is prophesying. It builds you up. Nina mo na po, it builds you up. It is from me to you, from outside to inside of you. But when you pray in tongue, it is from the inside to outside of you. Are you following me? Amen. Atong pagpaka ng ino. When you see build up, it's not just your body. Primarily your spirit. Mugroy mo spirit. And as your spirit grows, your soul is affected and your body is affected. Atong pagpaka ng ino. Kay ba kay soul, ang atong spirit, mao mo na sinugdanan niya na himotang new person. Okay, mo na yung new creation. Mo na yung na-born again. Pero ang imong soul at ang imong body, kinaanglan pa na siya i-disciple o kitin. Atong papaka ng ino. Para mag-glorify. Pag dili di mo i-build up ang imong spirit, Yes, you are a Christian, but you are a defeated one. To pagpaka ng ino. That's a revelation, ang karo. So tihan ako silo karo na ni. Okay. It brings mystery. Fourteen to seventeen. Basa. For one who speaks in tongue speaks not to men, but to God. Puno tadi aku. Pang bang speak na kita dah nak tan. Segera nato ngah Kristian lagi tagaan mungkin tak sekino kadang gift of tongue. Pang imun ang igamit. Betul dia. If you speak in the tongue, you speak not to men, but to God. Woo! Pero, kamo, kamo na. It's the Spirit from you. It's God Himself speaking to God through you. Itong pagpaka ng ino. Woo! And that's the reason why it will strengthen you. It will build us up. It will edify ourselves. Not just our spirit, including our soul, 
our body. There are so many studies na ang anak din speaking in tongue, it affects our health. Hello. And it improves the way we think. It gives us more discernment. Okay? Hello. Praise God. Number two, what the Spirit, the speak, uh, praying in the Spirit can do for us. It makes it easy, no, it enables us to overcome the weaknesses of the flesh. Kani mga bad habits na to, nga lison kayo paggawas. Kani bang mga Kristohan na ta, pero nga po yung mga gawai nga nagbalik-balik. You want to do it? Um, gusto kang muling kawasa na. The following day, balik na po. Uy, ano man eh. Greater is he but God who is in me than he who is in the world. Pero nga nang magbalik-balik man eh. Why? Wala man imo gibuild up ang imong spirit. Ang imong flesh mo overcome. So, what man yung mong i-feed? Kaya ba son? That which you feed is that which will grow. Pray ka in the spirit. <laughs> it will overcome your weakness. And any bad habits, matanggal na. Sa una, na ako eh. Problema ng movie. Bago pa kong kristuhanon. Tawa pa kong kristuhanon di ay. Sa sa akong mga witness is ka ng movie. Uh, Kanabi tong, di ba sa una wala pa man ang mga YouTube, wala pa ng internet. Okay? Hari ka sa sinihan. Okay? Sa so, ka Domingo, kaduha, katuloko mo sa tanaw o salida. Ah, lain-lain nga sinihan. Okay, sinihan na na born again ko na na feel ko the Holy Spirit. Isuway ko atong kulon-kulon nato sa una. Naon sa balang hitabo ang isuon gi. Padula ko sa kanang kanang sinihan ba? Ang akong tiil gi gikuan man sa Ginoo gi kanang gilid away ba? Then diyan ako naka na natin nga nakakuha na realize Allah the Holy Spirit is telling me to get out. So kan ato wa na gid ko malulong og kanang mga movies. Hello. So there are habits na di ta kagawas. Yeah, since the Holy Spirit is our helper, we we pray in tang <laughs> magawas na kagawas ka ana because he enables you to overcome your bad habits and it increases his spiritual activity in you ang mga gifts nimo gifts of wisdom gift of word of knowledge discerning spirits miracles of unsa pa ang mga gifts of the holy spirit <laughs> magka-increase na siya, magka-increase na siya. You become a powerful Christian. At ang pakpaka ng ino. Pero inigulit ba yun mo? Ang Holy Spirit, you don't speak in tongue as often, you become a weak Christian. Are you following me? At ang pakpaka ng ino. Number three, It makes it easier to receive from God and keep what you have received. Now listen carefully. This is one way of receiving what is intended for us. Especially kanin mga financial, mga material blessing. Ha? Huh? You are now <laughs> sa kwan pa. Ikaw karon dere. Nya commune ka ni God through your Holy through the Spirit through your Spirit ba? There is what we call an open heaven for you. 
makadungog ka easily from the Lord, ang inyong spiritual sensitivity mo increase, <laughs> including, hello, the blessing of God. Atong pakpakan ang ino. <laughs> Isira ang pangwanta. Klaro ko lang nato. Hello, nga naman. Dili ka intercede ang demonyo. How could the devil intercede a prayer in tongue? Di man siya kasabot. It is the Spirit of God praying to God. And it is not in our language. He cannot understand. And so, di di ma-intercede by the devil. Isira. Ato pakpakan ang gino. And then, and keep what you have received. Meaning, because <laughs> you are in tune with the Holy Spirit. <laughs> The angels of God and the Spirit of God is what sing over you. Amen. Nga ang di ba or di li kasulot at ang pagpaka ng ginoo. Oh, ang di ba or di solo sa manasya na kay panalangin Kristo ano nang ka? Pero! Kadawa to ka 10,000 na ay naitabog gasto ka o 20,000. If God, the Holy Spirit is true, the devil and his minions and demons is also true. You cannot see them. They are just watching over you. Especially when you, you know, confession. Are you following me? Tapaka na tong yun ako. Number four, the benefits of walking in the Spirit or praying in the Spirit. <laughs> it strengthens your ability to resist the devil. Ano uh, naman, ang imong Spirit is more now ni increase ya. More stronger than your flesh, okay? So that you have now the power to resist the devil, to resist temptation. That's why Paul said, "Put to death the works of the flesh." How? By increasing the spirit inside of you. Who? Number five. Uh, Manisha, huh? it causes your inner man to rise up in adversity. Uh, listen carefully. In times of crisis, the spirit inside of you, when you pray in the spirit or in tongue, will arise in you. Matingala ka. The crisis to own. Pero giprosper ka ni Lord. Atong pakpakan si Lord. Adversity. Because in the kingdom of God, there is no adversity. Nakatsiyot in naman ka ni Lord. But here on earth, if you're living in the flesh, you're subjected to the will of Satan and the principles of this world. Are you following me? Who? Your inner man. What's the inner man? The Holy Spirit. And you. The, your spirit, which is now a new person, joined together with the spirit, will arise not from within you. Lord, Eh, nag-fear naman ko. Ito po yung pandemic ko. Hala. Wala na yung on-site. Face to face. Okay? So, muhinay ang face to face na enrollment. O niya, Lord, dako raw kong bayro ng dere. O saan na, Lord? Ang demonyo, nangyong na yun. 
pangita mong lain nga place ang abang mo mas gamay nga rental okay okay anyway online naman dali ra kayo then sayo ko na ona ipulot ko ako ni mangita bin lain nga place lord wala na simbahan and then na apoy possibility nga wala daw pay mo dun sa online kay ang mga tao mangita mangit sila laba kay campus and there is another voice talking on why don't you kanang raise your faith level believe in me okay so Lord, I'll just believe in you that you will provide. I will not transfer location. I will believe in you. Hallelujah. To make the long story short and so on, God is providing for this place the rental. Hello. To give glory to God. You know how much Ayaw mo pagkuhan, ha? How much I give glory to God? How much I am renting this whole place now? It's 175,000 a month. But God, in advance, paid it all atong pagpakan ng ginawa. times of adversity will rise up now and the spirit inside of you when you pray in the spirit number six okay it reveals things to your spirit you could never know by your own ability I-reveal na ni Lord. Okay? That's why Jesus, uh, Proverbs 3, Do not rely on your own understanding. In all your ways, acknowledge Him. You know, when you exercise, pray in the spirit or pray in tongue, listen carefully, uh, it increases your spiritual discernment. Understand revelation of God. May inigbasa ni mo sa Bible. Lola, kay istorya gyud ang Ginoo. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Kat the same verse kay mo na basahan kani adto, lain in og revelation ang Ginoo. Deeper revelation atong pakpakan ang Ginoo. Hallelujah. Woo! If you have that your spirit will increase your Christian life will increase. And the Lord will be glorified. That's the main purpose. Why the Lord has given you the Spirit Amen. to glorify God. Amen. Pagpaka ng ino. So, if you want to go higher with God, Hallelujah. I'd like to ask the praise and worship team. Only David and James. And then Samuel. He stayed there. Okay. Samuel. And what's that you? That part here. Okay. Say for our Lord Paul. Let's 
worship the Lord. God has already revealed a lot of things to you. Now you have to receive it with gladness. And you have to exercise it. You want God's fullness and victory in your life? Walk in the Spirit. Pray in the Spirit. Go through it diligently. Try to speak in tongue for one hour. You know, sometimes when I drive, while I was driving, I prayed in the Spirit. And suddenly, I can feel the presence of God. My heart, Lord, in the eyes of my heart, I want to see. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Yes, hallelujah. I want to see.
Kelsio to your cup. Do not grieve the Holy Spirit. Hallelujah. Because this one is for you. To help you. Amen. Hallelujah. God is telling you that to be victorious, it is only through Him by His Spirit. If you resist the Holy Spirit, you will never walk in victory. Do not grieve the Holy Spirit by your unbelief. Yield to the Holy Spirit. Hallelujah. Do not intellectualize. Hallelujah. Let's sing another song. Yeah. 